Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Gennario Anthony Thomas Johnson. I am here today representing the uh, Fountain City Poetry Slam team. We, we, we will be going to Chicago uh, in August, the second week of August, to perform at Brave New Voices. And we would like to be uh, basically ask you guys for money. So <laughs> perform, and if you like it, you know, put a couple of dollars in there, whatever you got, some change, you know, and then we'll be very happy. We'll talk to you later. Uh, now, I just recently wrote this piece two days ago, so I don't have it memorized yet. I'm going to read it off. I'll tell you a little bit later. <laughs> Dependency. I am so sorry, my son. There seems to have been a miscommunication between my heart in my brain. Who I am is not who I have been given no choice but to be. These waves crash against the base of a mountain growing in my rib cage, and I'm not sure I can trust my doctor when he says that it's okay. My heart is beating slower. There are turntables in my cranium, but I don't want that disc jockey to play just yet. The song I sing is not easily understood by those who merely peek through a jar windows. Being a man is not easy, my son. These bite marks in my tongue did not appear from not speaking my mind. THC courses through my bloodstream, and my neurologist keeps saying it will only increase my paranoia. But he does not know how many gargoyles watch me sleep. Dreams interrupted by the destruction of chemical thresholds, and I can imagine you equating them to nightmares in your youth. These screams are not cries for pain, but rather shouts of rejoice because I know my time is near and I will no longer keep you from vaulting over skyscrapers. I hope you can forgive me for only being human, vulnerable to the ailments of a long life. Immortality is not the action of living forever, but living long enough to know you wouldn't need to do it twice because I have you, my son. My heir, my doppelganger, savior of a lost soul that he wrote it back in 98 when six suddenly became two when I tossed that wedding ring in the fucking Atlantic because no matter how many poems I wrote, there wasn't a sonnet I could scribble to rekindle the magic. You see, my son, your mother was going through changes. Lipstick stuck to her neck like the wounds of vampire bites. Acrylic fingernails left streaks of rainbows in her Mediterranean sea. She wanted to be touched by someone who shared her time of the month. I've spent 17 years posing my pride as Goliath when it was merely David in his embryonic sack. Love is a fleeting warship set to land on Pluto, which isn't even a planet anymore, but all I have left is ice and hydrogen, the abyss of orange tinted capsules where I dig for grains of salt like miners in Russia, hoping I can create a beach with an ocean deep enough for me to drown myself in because being a dependent is not easy, my son. This clonazepam is not working like it used to, my son. I still wake up to rivers of depression streaming from my pupils, but I don't want you to say anything when you see me cry. No, you but I not say one motherfucking word. You have to be strong for me. You have to be here when I am not. Your presence must be omnipresent to make up for my emotional absence. And I better not see one motherfucking tear, my son. Not one motherfucking tear because one of us has to live long enough to make both of us immortal, my son. One of us has to live long enough. That seems to have been a miscommunication. Ah!